Hey guys, so today we're gonna talk about the endless competition to build the tallest building in the world. The Burj Khalifa at 828 meters, 2,717 feet, wasn't quite finished in Dubai when a neighboring country started building Jeddah Tower, which will be one kilometer tall, which is 3,281 feet. Before it was finished, the foundation for the Dubai Creek Tower was being dug. So everyone knows that the world's tallest building is currently the Burj Khalifa. It's 2,717 feet tall and has 163 floors, excluding technical levels. So in 2013, construction for the Kingdom Tower, the Jeddah Tower, began. Now, the original design was for 5,250 feet, but after soil analysis, they decided to reduce the height to 3,181 feet. Now, the skyscraper should have been finished in 2019, so what happened? So the unique project and giant skyscraper was proposed by the world's richest prince, Al-Walid. And the main architect is Adrian Smith, who is famous for his unusual skyscraper projects in the US, China, and UAE. Smith, along with an architectural firm from Chicago, created a truly fantastical design for a city of the future, whose heart would be the Jeddah Tower, 3,300 feet tall. The construction was to cost $2.2 billion, and the cost of all the infrastructure for the city that would house 80,000 people would be no less than $70 billion. Now, the piece de resistance would be the observatory that is 100 feet across and that would be on the 157th floor. Now, according to the designers, you would have a stunning panoramic view of the Red Sea and the surrounding area up to 87 miles all around from that height. Now, construction of this unheard of structure began in 2013 and should have finished in 2019, but the royal family only had enough money for 26 floors, so the project was put on hold. Problems that arose during construction because of the salty sea air and wind towards the top were also a big contributing factor to such an ambitious project being frozen for four whole years. Now, the innovative design did receive a new investor in 2017, the Saudi company Alinma Investment that renewed construction. So the total area of the building is 2,624,950 square feet with 169 floors, including two basements. There are 59 elevators, 439 apartments, and 200 hotel rooms. There are 2,205 parking places. The estimated cost? $1.2 billion. Now, architect Adrian Smith explained how water was going to get to the 163rd floor. It would happen step by step using reservoirs at various levels to avoid too high a pressure in the pipes. Evacuation also required a special plan. The world's tallest tower will have first aid stations every 20 floors where people can get drinking water and medical aid. In case of emergency, these stations will work more intensively. Now, on October 22nd, 2017, the 56th floor was finished and the central core that holds the elevator shafts and stairwells reached the 63rd floor. In February 2018, the 65th floor was finished. However, construction hasn't proceeded since. In March 2018, construction was to resume. However, this didn't happen. As of 2020, the last floor built was still the 65th. Meanwhile, another tall tower in Dubai, the Dubai Creek Tower, had construction halted because of the pandemic. The largest developer in UAE, MR Properties, temporarily froze all construction projects in Dubai because of a strict quarantine. Now, this affected the tower in the Dubai Creek region that should have been 100 meters, or 330 feet, taller than the world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa. 
The tower evaluated at a billion dollars should have been finished this year after four years of construction for the International Expo 2020 in October. Now, the tower was designed by Spanish-Swedish architect Santiago Calatrava. It should have been a sleek, reinforced concrete TV tower with a round variable area and a long pointed needle. Its appearance should resemble both an Islamic minaret, the Eiffel Tower, a lily, and a mast with roosts. The upper part will have an oval bud. A supportive skirt of pre-stressed steel cables will stretch from the bud at a height of 2,300 feet. These cables will be the longest ever used in construction. The structure will have restaurants, shops, a hotel, luxury apartments, a conference hall, and 10 observation platforms with gardens that will resemble the hanging gardens, an ancient wonder of the world from Babylon. Now, some of the viewing platforms will be open and rotate. Less than 50% of the tower's height will be available for use to the people, with the remaining floors being technical ones. So the structure won't be considered a skyscraper, even though it will have around 210 floors, but it may become the world's tallest freestanding structure. So the tower has an interesting self-cleaning surface that uses water condensed from the internal AC system. The territory will also have a massive shopping mall. Now, conditions on the Dubai Creek Tower construction site are similar to those of the Burj Khalifa. Research showed that the area is sliced in horizontal layers that are very intricate and extremely short. The ground is mostly dispersed or semi-consolidated sand. And very weak rocks like sandstone, siltstone, conglomerates, and calcitite. The groundwater is rush chemically aggressive, and flows near the surface, which was taken into consideration when creating the systems that would protect the foundation from corrosion. Like most similar cases, applied foundation was designed for the tower itself. 145 powerful pile boxes 236 feet long were used. Additionally, 211,200 tons of cement and 15,000 tons of steel bars were used. Like with the construction of the Burj Khalifa, the pile boxes were made using a polymer mud, not typical cement, which increased their bearing capability. Now, it's worth noting that several trials and six operational boxes were fully tested at a record static load of 36,300 tons per box. Controlling the integrity of the piles is done using a seismic acoustic method. When building the foundation system, 450 experienced, highly qualified specialists from all over the world, excluding workers, were present. And according to management, every aspect of the project, from the materials to the construction techniques, was developed according to the most reliable international standards, and all risks are minimal. Construction of the tower includes many dampening and cushioning systems placed at various levels. But no matter how hard the Arabs try, Rich tourists who these buildings are made for still choose Miami and Paris. And Dubai's increasing number of luxury apartments overlooking the desert remain empty. The owners are losing tons. Not just what was spent on construction since the buildings still need to be maintained. Washing all the windows on the Burj Khalifa takes three months, for example. By the way, one massive skyscraper costs on average $1 billion. Well, that's all for today. Leave me a like if you found this video interesting. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know, would you go to the top of one of these skyscrapers and look over the edge? We'll see you next time.